So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to get straight into it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe so that you can join the tribe. And make sure you guys also hit the notification bell. Now, you can follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or on Twitter at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here, to see daily horoscopes. So definitely feel free to do so if you would like to see them. And if at any point you want a personal session, I offer them. Just check out the description. So let's see, Taurus. What does April 12th through the 13th have in store for them? Overall energy is the hangman. Current energy is the four of pentacles. The challenge is the five of swords. The advice is the empress. Your love life is the hierophant. Career is the two of pentacles. And then the outcome is the wheel of fortune. Okay. So let's go ahead and discuss this. So overall energy, we do have the hangman. Now, whenever the hangman comes up, this is usually the energy of you needing to change your perspective on things. So during this time frame, there may be a moment in which uh, the universe is trying to change your perspective in which you may be seeing things because that also may be causing stagnant energy in your life in some case. OK, this is things being kind of in limbo or your vision needing an adjustment or, like I said, perspective. This is also you guys realizing that you need to step in the unknown in terms of like you want to experience if you're wanting to experience more than your situation. If you're feeling like you're not experiencing enough growth, you may be needing to try a new approach. OK. You guys also may be trying to find peace. And not being able to control the events that are around you. And you guys are having to, like I said, really allow the universe to do its work instead of you feeling like you can control everything. Now, your current energy, we do have the four of pentacles. So with the four of pentacles, this is the energy of holding on tightly to something. This could be finances. Uh, this could be a relationship that's not good for you. Um, but mainly this is finances. Okay. This could also be some of you being pretty closed off. So if you're single watching this, your energy could be given off. Like I'm closed off and that may be why you're not really attracting new love. Um, and for others of you have someone else around you who may be acting this way, who are very closed off and maybe just extremely focused on finances and not really on dating. So if you were having questions on that, that's what's going on with that person. Now, when it comes to what I see for the challenge, I have the five of swords. So with the five of swords, this is somebody having pride, somebody being very prideful, um, going through some type of defeat in some way. Hmm. For some of you, the challenge is you may have a fight with a prideful person during this time frame. And sadly, some of you guys may lose the fight, like not fight like you guys will physically fight, but more of like an argument. So this could be you having a boss and you guys having a slight argument and they're doing things because they're prideful and they're petty. And you may be thinking that you may win the fight. You may not necessarily win the fight. If anybody tries to bring any petty fight towards your way in terms of an argument or an issue, stay away from it because you guys will unfortunately lose the fight. OK, or you could end up letting your own pride get in the way and it creates problems where you lose in the midst. So I just want to give you guys that heads up whenever the five of swords comes up, that that is something that has to be. You know, expressed. Also, for some of you, you could be having this stop at nothing to accomplish your goals approach. But unfortunately, you could end up losing in the process if you have that mindset because you could still win. But because 
you have that approach, it could almost make you feel like, well, was it worth it? So be careful. But anyways, advice. We have the Empress. This is a need for you guys to, for one, if you keep dating people who are immature or who don't want what you're necessarily looking for, you need to make sure you're dating people who are more on your level. Um, when it comes to your finances, there's a need for you to have more of an abundant mindset in terms of you attracting things, not necessarily having to, ch to chase all the time. Um, that's how you're going to be able to shift your situation. And for some of you as well, you need to understand that you're outgrowing a lot of things. You can't keep giving your energy to the same old, same old. All right. Now, when it comes to your love life specifically, well, actually, no, before I even get into your love life, another message here um, for some of you who may be having issues with like a mother figure or the mother of your children or the father of your children, also finding a way to co-parent or at least come to terms with that relationship, not necessarily being the best so that you guys can work on being a better parent or being a better person overall. Now, going back to your love life with the Hierophant, there may be a focus on mending your marriage or your relationship. For a lot of you, you want to get married to your person. If you guys have been together for a long period of time, it just may be needing some work, especially if you guys have two different sets of morals or two different sets of understandings in which uh, you guys like to date. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and this is also making sure as well that you guys aren't letting both of your personal understandings of religion or spirituality or whatever it may be to stop you guys from having a healthy relationship that's that's balanced. Now, when it comes to your career, we have the two of pinnacles. So this is the energy of you going back and forth, back and forth. Some of you may be trying to decide whether or not you're going to stay at your current job or if you're going to take on another job. Some of you may be currently already working two jobs and you're constantly at war in terms of having to find balance in working both of those jobs at this current time. And for others of you, you're kind of tired of the financial fluctuation. Um, this is like you getting paid one day and then having to pay bills right after you get paid and then only having a little bit of money left after. And you may be trying to figure out exactly what you can do to secure yourself. Now, outcome with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a really positive card. This is a turnaround in energy. Um, so you may be experiencing more favorable results during this time frame. Um, this is like you guys also coming into a new cycle of energy because whenever we're talking about the will of fortune, this is the energy of cycles. Okay. This is showing you that life is literally a cycle because we go through one down period and then we shift into a more positive period. Then, then we may go through another time period where maybe, you know, one way and then what have you, but every cycle that we go through, is so that we can learn and we can make necessary changes. And that's what's going to be happening for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this. I hope that you did take something from this video. If you did, thumbs the video up and subscribe. Check out the description box if you would like a personal reading. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.